Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this super clean, fully loaded 2023 Chevrolet Suburban LT. This is stock number 14917Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used SUV headquarters. This 2023 Chevrolet Suburban has the three liter six cylinder Duramax diesel engine puts out 277 horsepower, 460 foot pounds of torque. It's paired up with a 10 speed automatic transmission. This Suburban has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop as a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and this vehicle is 100% ready to go. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax out of Michigan. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, take a look under the hood, show you all the options, and give you the most accurate representation that I can of this vehicle. Black clear coat is the color. I shoot all my videos in 4K, and if you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest, if not the largest, catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast SUV inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. Comes with the 22-inch chromed alloy wheels. They are in fantastic condition. No scuffs, scrapes, or corrosion on there. And it comes with Bridgestone Alenza tires. These are 275.50 R22s, and I would say that they have probably about 60% of the tread left on them. Frame and our underbody suspension here and frame looks really good. Just a little dusty, but I didn't see any corrosion on there. Front fender is in excellent condition as well. No dents or dings in there. It does have the LED headlamps and LED run li running lights. I will turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. Front bumper is in fantastic condition. No major dents, dings, or cracks on there. And it does have the front bumper parking sensors. This one also has the 360 camera on it, which I'll show you in just a bit. You get the chrome trimmed grille. No major scuffs or damage on there. It looks really good. The hood's in pretty nice condition. I didn't see any major dents on that. And the passenger side front fender is in great shape as well. Passenger side front wheel, no scuffs or scrapes on there. Very nice condition. And as you go down this side of this 2023 Chevrolet Suburban, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the Suburban, hear the Suburban, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Back wheels in excellent shape as well and the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. You can see you get the felt wheel well liner, which keeps your frame and underbody looking good. And under here, like I said, other than a little bit of dust, it's in pretty nice condition. And you can see it comes with the nice factory running boards with the chrome trim on them. Coming around to the back of the vehicle, once again, rear quarter, no dents or dings on there, looks really good. Get the backup parking sensors. This one does have the towing package with receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. There's your spare tire as well. And uh, rear bumpers in great shape, but didn't see any dents or cracks on there. Has the power lift gate, just press the button like so, comes on up. We do have the cover for that receiver hitch. I keep them inside the vehicle so they don't go missing on the lot. And uh, you get a nice huge storage area, very nice and clean back here. Those third row seats are power. And I'll show you how fast they go down, watch this. Always amazed at how quick they go down. And then pretty fast on the way up as well. And you can fold down those second row seats and you get a 120 volt, 150 watt plug-in back here. There is storage underneath this tray here. And to get this gate down, you press this button right here and it'll come on down. It does have the flipper glass as well. So you just press this button right here. And you can get to the glass back here. Shocks are doing a nice job and the rear defrost cables are attached. 
It's nice to be able to get into the back of the vehicle in case you have a boat or trailer on the back and you can't open up the gate, you can still get to your stuff in back. Uh, I believe those are LED tail lamps as well and coming around to the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side. No major dents or dings on the rear quarter or door. And for full disclosure, this back wheel is just as clean as the rest. So you do get the capless fuel fill, fuel fill with the Duramax and you also have your DEF tank right there. So that's really nice. And on the rest of this side of the vehicle, doors look really good. I didn't see any dents or dings on there or major scratches, looks really good. Has blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, built-in directional signals. Once again, the 360 camera. Let's take a look at the second row seating. You get the quad seating back here with the captain's, or armrests, I guess you could say, um, captain's chairs. Latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. These seats slide forward and back. You get factory floor mats back here as well. Heated seat buttons for these uh, second row seats. Two USB-Cs, two HDMI hookups, and then a 120 volt, 150 watt plug-in, as well as rear air controls. Those HDMI hookups are for the rear entertainment screens back here. So you get those. Uh, we do have two sets of headphones that go with those. And uh, when I turn the vehicle on later, you can see that you can uh, hook these up to Wi-Fi and then uh, they have like YouTube kids and YouTube on there. So that's pretty cool. Definitely always good to watch some YouTube. These seats fold down like so and up like that. You can see the back carpeting's in nice shape, no rips or tears. And those third row seats are in excellent condition as well. Very nice and clean. Seats go down like that and up like that. And you can see it kind of slid forward so you can push that back like so. Get the wood grain trim on the doors there. Child safety locks on the back doors and the second row lower doors all look really good. Wanted to show you the VIN sticker real quick. No Canadian Suburbans here. Tire and loading information sticker and then GM's nice enough to give you the trailering information. Up front, the LT package gives you the black leather bucket seats. Both of these front seats are heated and power. No rips, no tears. Smells very clean inside this vehicle. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. You get these side curtain airbags there and driver's side lumbar, factory floor mats up front. Auto headlamps, push button four wheel drive. You get the power telescopic and tilt steering wheel. I think the, there we go. That's working nicely. There's your start stop capabilities, your 360 cam, lane departure warning, parking sensors and stability control, as well as your electronic parking brake. You also have power windows, locks and mirrors and memory driver seat. These mirrors do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly, which they are. Let's hop inside, check out the miles, radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. Oh, I did miss that it does have the Bose premium sound system in it as well. Like I said, this thing is really fully loaded up and you can see you get the big instrument cluster. I'm not sure exactly the size on this, but it does have 20,912 miles on that LCD display and you do get the digital speedometer here. There's the digital speedometer and the instrument cluster is very nice and clean. It does come with the heated leather wrapped multi-function steering wheel, Bluetooth and information center controls on the right, cruise controls on the left, heated steering wheel controls as well and I believe that's your adaptive cruise control and we'll check that out once the vehicle's running. There's your shifter for that 10-speed automatic transmission and you get the touchscreen Chevy infotainment system. Uh, I believe this is about a 12 inch screen or maybe a, a 10.2 inch screen. Like I said, I am not up to date on my GM uh, size of their infotainment systems. Anyways, you can see it does have the factory navigation system there. It's actually powered by Google Maps. There's Highway 41, so that is working properly. Now this may need a um, subscription to work and do all the routing and stuff but you can see right now it is reading properly. You get all your different apps on here, um, including the rear media, where you can turn those screens on, Alexa, um, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can also check out your cameras here. And uh, 
you can see you get a bunch of different cameras. So here's your backup cam. You also have a front view cam, which is right there. And then you can kind of zoom in over like above view of the front and rear, as well as down the sides for your curb. So you're not going to hit the curbs. A uh, mirror or a camera right over the receiver hitch so you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. And then, of course, the uh, 360 cam as well. Um, but all those cameras, really nice additions to this vehicle. And then you also have AM, FM, Sirius, and Bluetooth capabilities on there as well. Down here are your more tactile volume tune and climate controls. You have your heated seat buttons, your rear air controls, regular air controls, dual climate controls. You have a wireless cell phone charge pad, USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt power point. You get the keyless entry here with remote start and power lift gate buttons. There is just a very small storage cubby here. I'm not really sure what you could put in there. Some people put business cards in there that I've seen. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition as well. No rips or tears on there. And this one does have the second row fixed glass, power sunroof in front, panel roof. Like I said, this thing is very loaded up for an LT package. You also have the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. You can power fold down those second row seats, map lights, uh, sunroof con controls, sunshade controls, and OnStar and SOS buttons. You also have an auto dimming mirror. And the windshield is in very nice condition. I didn't see any major chips or cracks on there. Well, let's start it up. I'm going to show you the second row entertainment system once we do get it started up here. And you can see this starts right up. No check engine lights or anything like that, which is very nice. And then if you go to the rear media right here, you can uh, turn these screens on and off which they are on let's go check those out and then take a look under the hood and check out all those led lights so you can see you get uh either the hdmi hookup so you can do hulu youtube youtube kids and both of those screens are working very nicely I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. Hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course cleanliness of this vehicle inside and out. Really nice shape for the miles and all those lights are very bright and working nicely. Under the hood, we have the three liter, six cylinder Duramax diesel engine, 277 horsepower, 460 foot pounds of torque engine base, very clean. Runs very smooth and once again, this vehicle has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. There is the emission sticker. Shocks, you're doing a great job holding that hood up. And this bourbon is 100% ready to go. I would highly recommend it from a quality, condition, and of course, option standpoint. Especially those second row screens, my, uh, my boys would love them. And I would highly recommend this Suburban. And to see more pictures of this vehicle or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates and videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest, if not the largest, catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. And stay current on our ever-changing and vast SUV inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the suburban videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to help you with this ultra-clean 2023 Chevrolet Suburban LT with the quads, third row, second row rear entertainment system screens in black clear coat with the Duramax diesel. Thanks again for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again and have a great day.